if everyone took these ideas and actually made products, I would be so excited. Uh, if anybody's crazy enough <laughs> to make bones, crazy bait. millionaire, <laughs> crazy millionaires just sitting there like smoking his his pipe. He's like, meh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it does flop around. <laughs> it does flop <laughs> all over the place. Oh, so God. welcome back to Shark Tank. My name is wow. C Banana. I the love inventor of boner What's bait. Up? Yes, inventor of boner <laughs> bait. <laughs> And uh, we're going to ask some questions. Going to see if we get some investment. Now, Alpha. Yes, yes. Question. What company are you pitching today? What's All your right. idea? Now, you've heard of the G-Spot, correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, think about this product <laughs> called uh -huh. the C-Spot. Now, hold on. You may think it's dirty, and it's not, but I like the way you're going. Celebrity Spot. We take pictures of celebrities wherever they are, and we tag them with our GPS coordinates so we have a mobile moving map of, mo yeah. of celebrities that if you ever want to see yeah. a celebrity, he is tagged on your GPS. I'm going to stop you. That already exists, yeah. and it's super creepy. Oh, shit. All right, well, yep. Uh, good day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a I service, had... and they track celebrities and like their last known whereabouts. It's like oh. a celebrity finder. It's really but, creepy. But this will be open source, and people can contribute. I have another idea! Okay. <laughs> uh, well, it, it was a bad idea. Let, let it float off. Um, can I, can I pitch my product? So, my idea is a beverage. I am Juliet, by the way. Mm, okay. Um, it's it's called American Pride. Now, I know I'm not American, and you, you probably tell it about my accent. There is Shark Tank, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so think about this, okay? So, elsewhere in the world, pretty shit things are happening. Like, there's people uh -huh. exploding with diarrhea in Africa. There's, there's like, <laughs> horrific things happening, right? Okay, so... Yeah. What do Americans like to do the most? Remember yeah. that they're American and not there. So this is made of the actual tears of people from around the world who have suffered... <laughs> <laughs> now i'm good it's you got this on yourself <laughs> you guys have like the really old collector's edition with the trail of tears like the first ever yeah. american pride that's Just the one you have native americans <laughs> that that you flavor is called it's... casino uh, <laughs> my, my new idea is kind of nowhere near as offensive as the last one so i'm sorry there was just silence as i pitched that you guys sounded like you were crying <laughs> yeah, <I was> <laughs> I'm American. Oh no! <laughs> I was just trying to figure out how many I was going to order. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to go first. Uh, pitch me your idea. Make me invest. This may be a little controversial, but we've all heard that you know the term "dick measuring contest," right? When people are just goofing off and like it's sure, not really sure, like sure, not, sure. not a lot getting done. Like, oh, this is turning into a dick measuring contest. Yeah. My thought, actuality, we have an app program that's an actual dick measuring contest. Now, for everyone that downloads the app, you put in your address and we'll send you a, uh, a ruler. Depending on the size of your dick, we can measure in inches or millimeters, depending on how you feel. And there will be a leaderboard based on the size of your penis. I have a question. Uh, how, yes. how do you monetize this product? I, well, here's the thing. We'll have two sections. We'll have a flaccid yeah. and an erect leaderboard. Oh, that's and for true. the flaccid yeah. one, we'll advertise Viagra. And for the erect one, we'll advertise something after the four hours after your dick goes for hard. I don't know. I don't know how to monetize yet. We're thinking about that. Right now, I just want to get the user base. Uh, you know? I have a question. I have a question. Yes. What happens if you don't have a penis? You can't play. Oh. Okay. So. Oh. So. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, your idea is really sad. Just a bunch of dudes measuring their dicks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But we offer like you know different size can like you, different maybe categories. Maybe like there was ribbons or something like. I don't know. We have like the white guy category and the black guy category, and you uh, can fit whichever category you want to be you in. Could, you could you could pin the ribbons to the penis like first, second, like a rosette. Well, so my second idea, which is far better than boner bait, is called dick tees. Okay, and it's actually <laughs> giant dick T-shirts. Okay, you get it? Dick tees. Ooh. Ah. It's, that's a lot so, less painful than using your dick as a golf so, tee. Actually. So, like the way in which it functions is, you essentially there's no sh there's no like shoulders. It's just a giant dick costume, and your face is the is the tip. You, it's the tip of the dip dick iceberg. I, I mean, I, I don't want to influence like my rival's like decision here, uh, but I would actually buy one. Would you buy uh, a dick tee? I would. I just wait. Hold on. So you're saying you, your customers are the dicks? Ooh. Is that like I'm just trying to I know as, a, Ooh, as an investor. Yeah, I didn't a, see that coming. So <laughs> well, do I get I got, shot now? Yeah. <laughs> I could, I could. Yes. Okay, so the product is called Grow Your Own Pubes. Now, you, you, you may sound like a lot of people obviously are clean shaven these days, but sometimes one morning you might wake up and think, "Wow, I wish I hadn't shaven those today." Well, 
this is the product for you. Basically, what you do is you get these seeds and you implant oh. them into this special prepared wax strip that you glue how, just above your get, genitals. How do you get the pubes you grew on your genitals? Do you, you, you glue them? You, you, no, 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 no. So you, you put the them? wax strip. You put the wax strip on. <laughs> you plant seeds in the wax strip, and bam! Oh. You so add, it's like add water astroturf, but for your crotch. Yeah, but it's instant. It's like oh whoosh, yeah, because you don't want to be embarrassed when you when you when you have sex and someone's like, Hold where's on. your where's your grass that you grew on your genitals? Exactly, like, exactly, exactly. I got and, it. <laughs> We, we I just, just I'm an amateur, I guess, when it comes to sex, but I've never had the idea like, wow, I wish it was more uh, foresty down there. I've never no, had no, no, that. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, you make a good point. Yeah, yeah. Your idea sucks. They take, they take I the... can't shoot her because maybe lesbians have sex like that. No, I don't no, no, know. No, no. I don't... This, this is a European thing, child. It's a European thing. Uh, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wrong that's market. True. I understand now. Well, she yeah. can't die. It's a good idea. Just wrong market. Yeah. I, 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 well, one more thing. One more thing. You could also like have flowers in it to like, you know, like That's just ridiculous. That's just <laughs> unacceptable. I'm just not gonna listen to this anymore. <laughs> I am the priest and the host of this week's episode of Shark Tank, religious version. We have three mm. other priests here to pitch their religious theme. Oh, good. So um uh who's gonna go first? I don't know. Can I go again? I'll, I'll go yes. I'll go first. Have you ever been home and been pestered by those Pesky Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons. Oh, we're gonna actually call them out. Okay, uh, I thought we were gonna say yeah, those yeah, people. You know, <laughs> you know, we're in a church, but we gotta talk about religion. Like, you know, just... now that we're in a church today, I have a product called the Semen Sermon. It is a fabulous <laughs> service in which we hire, you know, up and coming um, priests. <laughs> up and coming priests. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna stop. Just you can shoot me. I'm 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 not a murderer, but I'm probably gonna be. Oh man, I made bad choices. <laughs> the semen sermon for up and coming priests. See, that, that, as a slogan that works so well, I think you could sell millions. Yeah. Even though no one would even need to know what it is. Just read yeah. that. Sold. Do you want to rise up in the ranks? Semen sermon. Yeah. I would just like to offer my product. It's called God Be Gone. Yeah. And it's just a book of science. That's it. He wins. <laughs> well, Dinosaurs. Like from... What are those crazy things? Good luck hiding from the Mormons now. 